Okay, so this is a very basic setup of uh, electronics in Stormworks. Uh, as you can see, I've got my test platform or my exhibition platform, and I've got two batteries per row. This is the last one I'm going to show of this, and this is the uh, difference between a switch and a circuit breaker. So these two batteries are connected to this switch, and off the switch, power is connected to this light. So when I press the light, I press the button, the light comes on. That's pretty simple. That's what we're used to. Uh, if you come off batteries on your ship or helicopter or plane, tie them to a switch and uh, also power the light, make sure that you power the switch, then you get the desired result. Input, output, and so forth. So what the circuit breaker does is you take your electric line run it from your batteries to your circuit breaker. Then you run the line from the, the circuit breaker to your button, and then from the button to the light. So as you can see, if I toggle this, I am toggling the button. The light is not coming on. That's because the power is not flowing between the battery and the button and the light. It's only flowing to the circuit breaker. So by toggling the circuit breaker, I'm now completing the circuit, which allows the light to come on and off. If I turn off the circuit breaker, you see the power is cut and the lights turn off. So similarly, you can power multiple switches off of the circuit breaker. You can see here I've got buttons and those switches or the toggle buttons can power multiple units. So again, I've got power coming from the batteries to the circuit breaker, from the circuit breaker to each button, and then from the button to each representative light chained. So it goes toggle button, light, light to light, light to light. Each one is not connected in its own connection to the toggle button. So again, I'm toggling these, nothing is happening. Complete the circuit by switching the circuit breaker on, and now I can turn on the lights. Turn off the circuit breaker, all the lights come off. So how does that apply in a ship setting? So let's say on a ship you've got two rooms represented by these two rows of lights. Uh, with the circuit breakers on, you can of course turn the lights on and off, right? And with each one of these circuit breakers, you can turn that specific room on and off by completing the circuit. But let's say you want to cut power to your whole ship. Let's say that you're having a massive, uh, your generator's failed, and you want to cut power to non-essential items on your ship. A main circuit breaker can connect to more circuit breakers. So what I've done here is I've connected the battery to this first circuit breaker, which then connects to each subsequent circuit breaker, and then the toggle button, and then the light, and the next light, and the next light, and so on. What that also means is that if this light were to get damaged, this light would not turn on as it is in the chain. So if I flip the circuit breaker, you can see both sides turn off, both sides turn on, and so forth. So circuit breakers are a really good way to mass control your ship. And because the circuit is now stopped here, there's no more power going to the button. So even though, like up in this top example, we have power going to the button, which means that you will always be draining your battery. In this example, by putting the circuit breaker there, the power is not going to the button, which means that you will no longer drain your battery. A circuit breaker is just completing the circuit. So if I return this to the workbench, um, let me navigate really quick, and I go into, oh crap, that's not what I wanted. And I go into the logic. So you can see here, <coughs> the batteries are connected to each other. The battery, or the electric line comes off this battery to the switch and to the light. So you click the switch, light comes on. In this one, you can see I've connected the two batteries to the bottom power, electric A input. And then the switch in the subsequent light is powered off the top electric B. It doesn't matter which way you do it. Um, either way, I believe if you disc if you connect it to the terminal B off the batteries, that means that the circuit is on. Uh, so you don't you would actually have to go turn it off so it stays on. Back here, you can see that the batteries are connected to the bottom input of the circuit breaker. 
and the switches are on the top input, you can see that these are connected subsequently. So those are connected to each switch. Each switch is connected to each light in chain. Same down here and same down here. So for this model that I've got down here, <coughs> again the same thing. Batteries are connected to the bottom circuit breaker, electric A. B connects to the A on the next set of circuit breakers. B connects to the subsequent buttons and then to the lights in the chain. So again, that means if I were to take out this light from it, this connection would come off. You could chain each one to the subsequent button, and you can also uh, cross chain. So for example, if I took the button and did this, then not only would these lights come on when the button is pressed, but so would these. They don't get power from the circuit breaker though. So if I were to spawn this, and not look at the ground, of course I have to turn all the circuit breakers on. So the lights come on, and lights come on. But if I were to disconnect this circuit breaker, you can see that it doesn't matter what I do here, those lights are going to come on. Now if I take the circuit breaker and turn it off, those lights are also going to come on because now both circuits are chained. If I disconnect the battery completely, both lights go off. And turn off both those circuit breakers, those lights go off. So if you want to make it a singular room in the logic, or if you want to make certain things only go to that, then make sure you don't chain. So this now becomes one area of the ship or helicopter and the next area of the ship or helicopter.